Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the, wor- what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, if you have questions about the longevity business, if you have a health challenge that you want help with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or head to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com. And criticalhealthnews.com, we got all the longevity products up on the website, and you can click on the Join the Team link. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business, be in business for yourself, work out of your home, right off your home office and your mileage, help change the world at the most fundamental level, help change, help change lives at the most fundamental level, and that's the level of good health, using nutrition and nutritional supplementation. If you are the kind of person that likes to help folks, or if you're the kind of person that likes nutrition and health and chemistry and the kind of stuff we talk about on this program, this is a perfect business for you. And you can make some pretty good money at the same time. Call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for more info, or click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and uh, our new Truth, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and our new Truth Biomimetic Priming Mist made with fulvic minerals, high aluronic acid, amino acids, and lactate, and that's it. Biomimetic Priming Mist is biomimetic. The active ingredients are all in your skin. Mimics the skin. Fulvic minerals and fulvic acid are remarkable. Just, just the fulvic acid and the fulvic minerals. Fulvic acid is kind of like a magnet to which minerals stick. And the whole complex is called a fulvic acid mineral complex. And this entire complex not only enters into the skin very effectively, it enters into the cells very effectively and it pulls other things with it. It pulls in water, hydrating the cell, making the cell nice and plump. It pulls in nutrients, nutrating the cell, feeding the cell. It pulls in the active ingredients from our Truth Transdermal C Serum and Truth Transdermal C Balm, as well as our Truth Omega-6 Healing Green, perfectly. It makes a perfect pair, pairing with any of our Truth Treatment products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking about the skin, skin health, skin cell, mem- uh, skin cell health, skin cell membrane health. There's so many misunderstandings and mythologies about the skin. We are so skin ignorant as a culture and those of uh, companies and, and professionals and experts selling the skincare products are just as ignorant because in order to understand skin, you have to understand biochemistry. The biochemistry of the skin, just like the biochemistry of the body, is the main determining factor of how healthy the skin or the body will be. 
Now, I'm not saying you have to be Mr. Biochemistry guy or gal, but you got to understand a little bit about biochemistry. Otherwise, we're just smearing stuff on and hoping for the best. And that's how most of us deal with our skincare products. We smear stuff on and hope for the best. Even if you're a professional or an expert, so-called expert, usually you're just reading on the internet stuff, that you, stuff that you read somebody told you. In order to understand how the body works or how the skin works, we've got to understand the, some, just some basic biochemistry. Not a lot, although it's kind of fascinating. Once you get into it, you might really start to like it because it is really fascinating stuff. Biochemistry, it's not that hard either. Chemistry is not that hard. Chemistry, as we've said on this program so many times, is tinker toys. It's just putting things together in shapes. What distinguishes an omega-6 fatty acid from an omega-3 fatty acid is just different, a different sh type of tinker toy. That's all. And the body in its infinite wisdom and the life force in its infinite wisdom knows how to change tinker toys. It knows how to change the shapes of tinker toys. It knows how to stick different dowels and circles and all the different tinker toy pieces. I don't even know what they're called. It knows how to stick them all in, in, in different ways. It, only God knows, as they used to, we used to say in pharmacy school, OGK, how this happens. And when I first saw this as a student, as a pharmacy student, I was just, I can't, even, I'm still reeling. I'm still recovering from that first time that I really got what biochemistry was when I was a pharmacy school student. When I first understood that all this tinker toy, all these tinker toys are changing shape in with, a, with such complexity and speed and intelligence and responsiveness that it, it's, it's impossible to believe. It's, it's, it's just, it, it floors you when you first get this. We, and it makes you understand that there is a, a magical divine force that's running this thing that is beyond comprehension. And all it can be done, all that we can do uh, in terms of uh, how we respond to this magical divine intelligence is just be in awe of it. Just be blown away by it. And once you really understand it, you'll see how idiotic it is to try to stick drugs in there, stick your own tinker toys, stick, high, s stick in tinker toys that are created in a lab somewhere into this incredibly tightly regulated and choreographed and infinitely complex system. Of course you're going to have side effects. Of course you're going to have toxicity. Of course you're not going to be able to do anything to make anybody better once you really get the biochemical nature of all this stuff. Anyway, we're talking about skin. Dry skin is a biochemistry issue. You can't smear something on the surface and take care of your dry skin. You got to figure out how you can address the biochemistry. Yesterday we talked about the cell membrane, the membrane. The magic is in the membrane. Membranes are where the outside becomes the inside. It's a transfer. It's like in, Star, uh, in the uh, TV show Star Trek, how they would go from warp one to warp two, and they would shake a little bit. That shaking is when you go from one place to another, that's the membrane. The membrane is what keeps this from being that. The membrane is what turns this into that. And there's magic in it in terms of the membrane of the biochemistry of the, uh, of the cell, the, biochemi uh, the biochemistry of the membrane of the cell. You're talking about electrons. You're talking about electricity. You're talking about fats. You're talking about lecithin. That's basically what's in the membrane. Fats, cholesterol, and lecithin, and especially essential fatty acids, which are rare. In terms of fats in the body, EFAs, your ultimate EF EFAs from longevity, EFAs from food, they're rare. And nature has set up a, a system where the cells, again, the, the divine force, where the cells depend on these rare EFAs in order to, or the cell membrane, in order to make the membrane. The cell, the cell depends on EFAs to make the membrane. There's actually something now called membrane lipid replacement therapy that's it's still in research. It's still being it's still being researched. You probably haven't heard of it. The doctor probably hasn't heard of it. It's still being researched. But it's the idea of giving oral membrane supplements, oral components of the membrane. Guess what they are? EFAs and also lecithin. EFAs and lecithin comprise what's now being called membrane lipid replacement therapy. Well, guess what? We've been talking about this for decades, for years on this show. EFAs, lecithin, fats, F A T S, fats. That's what we should be focused on. Fats are super high-powered, electro, electrically dense, especially essential fatty acids, electrically dense, uh, little tiny information processors, and they live inside the cell membrane. Is it any wonder we're so sick? We're not, we're not processing our fats. We're not getting the right fats. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-1610 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we 
far back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, and uh, I've got lots of open lines for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, dry skin, aging skin, photo damage, skin that's drier is more, ten, is more prone towards photo damage, towards photo aging, towards light sensitivity, towards sensitivity to retinol, by the way, towards sensitivity to retinoic acid, towards sensitivity to stimulating skin that is... Uh, Drier has less fats in it, I should say. Dry skin is unhealthy skin, period. It's a health condition, and all health issues involve the cell, as we've said a million times in this program. So it should come as no surprise that dry skin is a skin cell issue, as is acne, as is psoriasis. And by the way, when it comes to acne breakouts and, and zits, a lot of people have this idea that you can get zits from putting products on your skin. This does not happen very often and it takes a while for it to occur. I get uh, probably a letter a day from somebody who wants to know about clogged pores and skincare products. Let me say this, skincare products don't clog pores. Now, they can cause comedones over time, but that's a whole different kind of chemistry. The comedone is a fancy name for a zit or a pimple. Yes, they can cause pimples over time. That means over the course of, if you put a product on for four weeks or so, five weeks, six weeks, you'll get a little irritation inside the follicle, and that can happen. That's called comedogenicity, and some things can do it. But it's not clogging the pores. Products don't clog pores. Clogged pores, zits, are caused by cells dividing too rapidly, and it's a whole biochemical issue, which we'll probably get into here in a little bit. But I just want to say that there's all this there's all silliness, this mythology out there in the world of skincare. Eczema is not a skin problem. Psoriasis is not a skin problem. Hyperpigmentation, even though these things show up on the skin, they're not skin problems. They're biochemistry problems that are starting underneath, way underneath. And nobody tells us these things. And so we end up like sh just being suckered into buying all these different products and nobody's happy with their products. And you look in your, most people's medicine cabinets and there's a dozen different products that they bought over the last year, two or three, and they haven't used or they've used a couple times. Because nobody's happy with the state of skincare. I first saw that when I was in pharma, when I started working in, the, in pharmacies. People come to the pharmacy, they'd be like, Ben, everything I put on my skin makes me drier than before I put the product on. My skin is drier after I use my moisturizer than, after, than, than before. Everything causes eczema. Oh my God, everything makes me break out. There's just a sense of dissatisfaction with our with skin care, that's because nobody tells us what's going on at the level of the cell. Dry skin, cell issue, cell membrane issue. And that's where membrane lipid replacement therapy comes in, which is nothing more than just taking up fatty acids. And not just taking them, but processing them. It's not just eating your essential fatty acids. It's not just taking your supplements. It's not just eating foods. You've got to process them correctly. Also, uh, lecithin is also important for membrane lipid replacement therapy. Fatty acids and lecithin and cholesterol are the three major components of the skin cell membrane. And because we don't process fats correctly, we don't understand fats correctly, our fats are destroyed, we have fat problems. And so of course we have membrane problems. So of course we have cell problems. So of course we have disease problems. Fats are the fundamental component here. It's like, uh, especially for the skin. It's like the movie in the, in the movie, The Graduate. The guy says, plastics. One word, plastics. One word is in health and skin, fats. But the fats are difficult to, for the body to process as we get older, that, especially as women get older, because there seems to be a relationship between estrogen, or at least a drop in estrogen, and your ability to process fats. So women, when they get older, are much more prone towards wrinkling and, and thinning of the skin. These are all fat issues. Photo damage, fat issue. Dry skin, fat issue. Then men are. And fats, by the way, membranes and fats, also, they don't just line the cell. Inside the cell, you have what are called organelles. This is another mind-blowing concept in biochemistry. So the cell, maybe a hun one one-hundredth the size of a head of a pin, maybe a two... I, you could lay 100 red blood cells end to end on the head of a pin, roughly. So it's a, 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 one one hundredth, uh, one one hundredth of the, the, uh, the size of a head of a pin, maybe a quarter the size of a, of, a, of a human hair, something like that, on that order of magnitude. Within it, within this infinitesimal microscopic invisible entity, you have little tiny organelles, little 
organs, structures, thousands, hundreds of thousands, between 10 and 100,000, maybe more of these things moving around inside the cell. How can that be? These things, if the cell is one one hundredth the size of the head of a pin, these things are one one thousandth the size of the head of a pin. Or even smaller. And these little structures, I mean, this is craziness. These little structures, they also have a membrane. And they also depend on fats. And they also depend on fat processing. Are you beginning to see here how important fats are? And, and, and making sure we're processing fats correctly? So they got this thing called membrane lipid replacement therapy, right? Which is basically fats and also antioxidants that help supposedly help restore uh, cell membrane structure and cell membrane function, cell membrane health, replace damaged cell membranes, oxidized cell membranes, as well as organelle membranes, the little structures inside the cells. That's the logic anyway. You eat the stuff and it goes to the cells. The problem is, if you're not processing your fats correctly, if you had your gallbladder taken out, if you have a liver problem, if you have uh, IBS or UC or any di intestinal health issue, ulcerative colitis or irritable bowel syndrome or, or Crohn's disease or, you know, most of us, you're not going to process your fats correctly. That's why folk making sure you're using digestive enzymes is so important. That's why using pancreatin, which is a type of digestive enzyme, you'll get that in your ultimate EFAs, is so important. That's why using... Uh, apple cider vinegar with your meals is so important. You need to have your stomach contents need to be acidified in order for fat processing to proceed correctly. That's why you want to keep your gallbladder, which is your major or one of the major fat processing structures in the body along with the liver. That's why you want to improve liver health. Oh, by the way, one out of, uh, uh, one out of three of us have fatty liver disease. What do you think that's going to do? Fatty liver disease tells you right there what the problem is. The liver's not processing fat. It's overwhelmed. That's what fatty liver disease, NAFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Numbers are on the rise. In fact, it's now considered to be normal to have a little bit of a fatty liver. It's not normal. It means your liver is not processing fat. And that means your cells aren't making membranes. And that means you're going to be sick in all kinds of different ways. And you'll have dry skin to boot. If you're not processing fats correctly and your skin is dry, check this out. Your body will start cranking out oils sebum. The skin dryness will trigger sebaceous secretion, so your skin will be oily and dry. Because dryness doesn't really, oil doesn't really take care of skin dryness. Oil takes care of skin softness, maybe, but it doesn't, take, it doesn't address skin dryness. But your body is attempting, because it doesn't know why you're dry. It doesn't know it's dry because it's sick. It just knows it's dry. And throughout millions of years of evolution, dryness sig signaled oil. So you'll be dry and oily. And you'll have zits. Not everybody gets this condition, but I've seen it a lot, where you're dry and oily and you're totally breaking out. And of course, we know that fatty hormones, estrogen and testosterone, those are all involved in skin health. So if you're not processing fats, you're not going to process your fatty hormones either. And now you got a big mess, and it all has to do with not processing your fats, not getting enough essential fatty acids, and uh, digestive health issues. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog posts, news stories, videos, lots of good health information, and all the longevity products. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team by clicking on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Also, you might want to check out brightsidehealth.com if you haven't done so yet. We've got some cool uh, uh, enzyme products and uh, got some coconut products and uh, CBD, great CBD oil. 
uh, made by a good friend of mine actually here in Colorado. I'm going to be having CBD topicals out sometime soon. I've been working on some really neat CBD topical products. CBD is amazing stuff. Oh my goodness. Internally, topically, it's got some really neat benefits too. Most people know about it internally if they've, uh, well, not most people, but certainly you guys have probably heard of CBD taken internally for anxiety, for sleep, for relaxation. Uh, it's great for sleep, for pain, and taken internally. And then topically, it's got some really neat analgesic pain benefits as well as anti-inflammatory benefits. CBD, natural CBD, and cannabinoids, I should say, are found in the skin. They're found throughout the body. The endocannabinoid system, the nervous system that's made up of cannabinoids, the same thing that's in the marijuana plant or the hemp plant, as well as other plants, too. It's not just the marijuana plant. Hops has some, some cannabinoids in it. Skullcap has some cannabinoids in it. There's various herbs. Heliochrysum has cannabinoids in it. You don't just get cannabinoids from marijuana. There's cannabinoids found throughout nature. And there's cannabinoids found, found throughout biology found throughout our bodies. All our cells work with the cannabinoid system. It's a very fundamental molecule. It's a fundamental molecule to all of life, the cannabinoids that are found in marijuana. And that's why marijuana has such a storied history. It's been around for, as a smokable herb. It's a smokable intoxicant, inebriant, spiritual substance for, uh, for thousands of years, thousands, five, 6,000, maybe 7,000 years. People have been smoking pot. And it's only been the last 100 years or 200 years. Check this out. This is how crazy we are as a culture. It's only been the last 150 years that it's been this evil substance, but because that 150 years represents about seven generations, it got literally grandfathered in that, uh, that marijuana is some evil substance. Now, smoking is definitely not good for you. So if you're smoking pot, I'm, not, I'm definitely not a, a fan of smoking. But just to say that the... To make a plant illegal, especially something as fundamental and as foundational as pot, is absolutely absurd and mean-spirited and anti-human. And I, I'm glad the situation is changing. Anyway, right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let me read a couple of stories here, and then we'll uh, get your phone calls. This is from the journal Public Library of Science 1, PLOS 1. Many patients show, show signs of kidney disease before diabetes diagnosis. Where have you heard that before? Many patients who will later be diagnosed with diabetes show signs of chronic kidney disease even before their diabetes diagnosis. This is why your diagnosis is, doesn't matter. Diagnosis is only a measure, uh, only uh, uh, apply after a critical mass has kicked in, after you've reached a certain point. But that doesn't mean your body's not breaking down even if you don't have a, an official diagnosis. The body breaks down slowly. It breaks down gradually. So you may not be diagnosed as a diabetic, but that doesn't mean your blood sugar is not messed up and it will show up on your kidneys. I hear this all the time. Oh, well, I have arthritis and I have, uh, my doctor said my thyroid's not working well and and I got a little uh, psoriasis here, but my blood sugar is just right. I have no blood sugar problems. I'm not a diabetic. The heck you're not. You may not be diagnosed as a diabetic, but your blood sugar's whacked out, and that's really what diabetes is about. If you're sick, you got a blood sugar problem. Whether you've been diagnosed or uh, chronically sick, I should say, progressively sick, you have a, a, a chronic sickness, you got a blood sugar problem, period. And it doesn't matter what the doctor says. According to this article... You can have kidney disease. This was from uh, uh, a uh, study that was done at the Veterans, the Office of Veterans Affairs. Researchers found that more than 30% of newly diagnosed diabetic veterans had kidney disease, had been diagnosed with kidney disease prior, had prior kidney disease signs. 10% of Americans have kidney disease. That should not be. Why do we have kidney disease? Because the kidneys filter the blood and we all have dirty blood. All right, let me do one more and we'll get your calls. 844-236-6010, got lines open. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Let's see this one here. Adrenal sex hormone level may predict heart disease risk. This is from the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. Blood levels of the adrenal sex hormone DHEA may predict an increased risk of coronary heart disease. Low serum levels of DHA predict an increased risk of CHD, cardiovascular heart disease, in elderly men, uh, coronary heart disease, in elderly men. 
DHEA is one of the all-time great underappreciated supplements, but it is a hormone, and you've got to be a little bit careful if you're going to take DHEA. You don't want to take too much DHEA. It is a hormone, and your body will, when you take hormones, your body adjusts accordingly. Nutrients are used. Nutrients are used, I should say, nutrients are used for chemistry. Hormones go right to work. And so because the hormone goes right to work, nutrients are different from hormones in the sense that nutrients are building blocks or they're facilitating chemical reactions. Hormones go right to work. That's the stuff right there. The nutrients make the hormones or at least are involved in the production of the hormones. The hormones go right to work. So when you take a hormone, the body doesn't have a way of controlling. It's controlling uh, how much activity happens. Activity just happens. So what, it, what ends up going on, what ends up uh, happening is you downregulate. The cells downregulate. They don't respond to hormones as effectively. And that's the problem with taking hormones. Your own hormones downregulate. Your or, own hormones become deficient, or at least in activity, functionally deficient. And that's the problem with using estrogen. That's the problem with using testosterone. And that's the problem with using over the, and thyroid hormone. And that's the problem with using over-the-counter hormones, too, like a DHEA, and also, by the way, like melatonin and pregnenolone, which I am fans of. Melatonin, your body will downregulate its own melatonin if you take too much, and, and that's one of the tough things about supplementing with melatonin, and for that matter, pregnenolone. And progesterone, which are, tend to be more benign than some of the other hormones, you're still going to downregulate. Now, if you're not making any progesterone or you're not making enough progesterone because of other reasons, you may need it. And likewise with melatonin and pregnenolone, but that's why supplementing with hormones is not the same as supplementing with uh, supplementing with nutrients. Nutrients, the body has lots of control points. It can excrete them. It can use them. It can not use them. They're not going to do anything on their own. They'll facilitate. Vitamins and minerals facilitate. They don't. They're not, that's not the biochemistry. Those are the keys that turn on the ignition of the biochemistry machine. But the biochemistry machine is separate from the nutrients, although. To add, to make things a little bit confusing, the biochemistry machinery ultimately comes from, from foods, ultimately comes from, uh, from nutrients, but just not, not in the same kind of way that nutrients ignite the biochemistry. That's more long-term, the building of these biochemical machines. The ignition happens much more quickly. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back with your phone calls on the bright side right after this. Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, we are here for you. If you have a success story you'd like to share, clarifications, or if you uh, just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Virginia and say good morning to Dorian. Hey, Dorian, what's up, buddy? Hi, good morning. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How can we help Alrighty. you? I'm calling for my, a friend of mine undergoing chemotherapy. Ooh. Same one that had the uterine um, cancer problem. How old? And uh, How old? 61. 61, about 61 oh. I would say. Okay. And um, in recent time, she's undergone like four chemo sessions so far. Right. And... She recently told me that she's feeling some neuropathy in her. Well, yeah. <laughs> three of her fingers. Yeah, I mean, she's sick. This woman's sick. Neuropathy is just a generic sign of sickness. But it's an interesting point you bring up. Neuropathy itself is not the issue. It's just the way the body breaks down, and that's why diabetic diabetes and neuropathy go hand in hand. But neuropathy can just occur with aging. It can occur with nutritional deficiency. It can occur with chemotherapy and cancer. It's just a generic sign that the body's breaking down. Here's the thing on chemotherapy, okay? You need way more nutrients than you do otherwise. Way more nutrients. Unfortunately, doctors don't understand this. Some do, but most don't. And doctors also uh, sometimes, unfortunately, poo-poo it. They'll say you don't need it, or they'll tell you not to use it because it'll interfere with your chemotherapy. When you're under chemotherapy, your body you're undergoing chemotherapy, and when you're un, uh, dealing with cancer, your body is in a way, 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 way stressed out condition, physiologic stressed out condition. We're all under phys if physiologic duress is a scale from zero to ten, ten where your just body just explodes from the duress and you die, and zero is where you have none. Uh, chemotherapy and cancer are like an eight. 
And most of us are running around like a three and a four, even if we're reasonably healthy. Disease, you're like five or six or seven in the terms of the bodily duress scale. Chemotherapy and cancer, you're like at eight, maybe nine. You follow me? Are you yeah. with me, Doran? So she's just under major duress. For one, one of the best things you can give a body that's in major duress like this, and I don't care if it's chemotherapy and cancer or, or uh, severe dementia or uh, heart disease or whatever, end state, multiple organ system failure, that's actually a disease, multiple organ system failure, where your body, literally, I, I make a joke, I say there's only one disease, my body is falling apart disease, that's literally what that is, multiple organ system failure. Uh, whatever it is, if you're in this like five, six, seven range, chicken soup, homemade, your body will suck it up like a dry sponge sucks up water. It's protein, the, it's liquid protein and liquid immune booster, boosters. That alone will make a huge difference. Beyond Tangy Tangerine, same, same way. Small doses though to start with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's two things right off the bat you can give her that will change your life. High doses of vitamin C. Would all be better? Or the 2.0. 2.0. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, Fucoid Z, another one. That's a blood tonic. That's another important one. Fucoid Z, liquid proteoglycans. That's what Fucoid Z is. Proteoglycans and polysaccharides are sugars and sugar protein complexes that are amazingly helpful and well absorbed and handled by the body when you drink them and eat them. So the Fucoid Z, which contains Fucoidin, which is a really incredible. Uh, uh, pr uh, polysaccharide, sh long sugar complex. It's just a mm -hmm. highly electromagnetic, electrical. It, it helps support the fluidization of the blood. Just amazing stuff. Fucoid Z is another one. Chicken soup, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Fucoid Z. Now, that's not everything she needs, but that's enough that she's going to notice a huge difference in her life and in her neuropathy. You may throw in some B vitamin, throw in some extra B vitamins too. You get some in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but get her some extra B vitamins. Vegetable juices, that's another one. Vegetable juices. Get a Vitamix. If this is a good friend or a relative, or for anybody listening who has a good friend or relative in this kind of condition, get a Vitamix. Make homemade veggie juice and lots of it. You've got to be a little bit careful with veggies because of the lectins, the, the defensive molecules that can cause problems, but you can really, you could, the liquid electricity, which is what veggie juice is, liquid electricity, can be incredibly helpful. Oh, here's another one. Uh, get a zeolite or fulvic acid or bentonite clay and put it in water, have her drink those. Those are great chelating agents to help clear out the chemotherapy. So many things you could do, Dorian. I hope I helped you out. Any, okay. Anything else yes. you want? Thank okay, you. Okay, good. Thank you All so right. much for that. All right. Take care, man. Have a great day. All right. Uh, let's go to Jim in Colorado. Good morning, Jim. How you doing? Hey, good morning. Oh, Met yeah. you over in uh, Longmont about a month and a half ago. So you're the you're the gym with the the engineer with the dry skin, and the really intractable dry skin, right? Yeah, I've been stamped with PRP label. Well, I saw you on February, and your skin was. I didn't see dryness. I certainly didn't see it like it was in the pictures you sent me. Remember, we were, we were that, you're yeah, the guy right, I was talking right. to, right? So yeah, I want to know. Pretty dry. I'm getting. I'm getting better. You know. I, I mean, want to uh, know what you did. No, Jim. I saw the pictures, and then I saw you in February. Okay. Uh -huh. Huge difference. When I saw those pictures, I told you right away it was not a skin problem. I told you right away that was a connective tissue problem. By the way, have you been listening to the program? I was talking about dry skin and all that. How I'm talking about dry skin. Well, I just tuned into you today. I haven't listened to you okay. for a few. So weeks. we've been talking about your condition, basically. And uh, Jim, for the listeners, Jim had a really, 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 really bad case of. Of uh, I guess you type of eczema. It was just very ashy, dry, almost painful to look at skin. Uh, and I told Jim, as, and some of you may remember this. We did this on the air. It's not a skin problem. It's a connective tissue problem. Have you? Did you hear about the new organ they found underneath the skin yesterday? Did you read this, Jim? No. All right, check this out. They got a new. They found a new organ, and they think it has to do. It has something to do with cancer metastases. How cancer spreads. It's a, and literally, they say, this is new organ discovered. So you will say, how could you discover a new organ, right? I mean, you'd think they would have known all the parts of the body, right, by now. How could they find a new organ, right? Google it. Say new organ discovered. So you, okay. what they mean is the new organ, it's not a new organ. It is, uh, it, they used to call it connective tissue, and they used to call it the stuff that's underneath the skin, which is hard, hard connective tissue. Now what they discovered was that connective tissue, or dense connective tissue they call it, that dense connective tissue actually has compartments that hold liquid, hold water. You with me? 
So underneath your skin, you have, and we've talked about this for years, you have a combination of connective tissue and water. And it's this connective tissue and water system that feeds everything above it like soil feeds a plant. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. So you've got this network of this canal that's underneath your skin, underneath a lot. It's, it's found throughout the body, but underneath the skin, and it holds water in its connective tissue, and it feeds everything above it just like good soil feeds plants. When that connective tissue breaks down or that connective tissue liquid compartment starts to become toxic or in some way is not as functional as it needs to be, we get sick skin. And it can especially manifest as your condition. The, pro, the, the, the take-home message is, is it has to do with the sick connective tissue, the deteriorated connective tissue, the bad soil. The, and it's not right. just connective tissue, it's soil and water. Over time, that soil and water becomes toxic, comes out of the lymph, which is, becomes toxic. Where does all this start? In the digestive system. In right. the digestive system. So building your connective tissue and cleaning the system out or how you treat that kind of intractable dry skin, which I told you, and you must have done some of what I told you because when I saw you in February, your skin was dramatically improved over how it, w it was in that picture. Now, if you still have skin dryness, you, you probably still have some more work to do. You're probably not out of the woods, but you're sure on the right track. I got to tell you that. Hey, I only got about a minute, so what, did you want to ask me a question? Yeah, uh, Dr. Hager that I went to in Longmont, he said that, uh, you know, I had a, like a thousand dollars worth of blood tests run on me. Yeah, I hope and, you have uh, a lot of money because you just sent, you just paid, I don't. paid his mortgage. You just paid his mortgage yeah, right. for him, and now you're all better because you spent a thousand dollars in testing, and now you're all better. And he said, well, "You have." He rubbed his chin. Let me guess. He rubbed his chin. And says, "You have pityriasis ruba pularis, right? Did he tell you that? Uh, yeah, he didn't do the diagnosis. I had a dermatologist. Okay, so he rubbed his chin and said, "Oh, that's PRP, pityriasis." Rubus polaris. You know what that means? Your skin's jacked up. <laughs> That's what it means. And I'm only going to yeah, charge you $200 he, for that. I'm only going to charge oh, no, you $200. He wanted, he, he wanted uh, two There's nothing better. He wanted like fifteen dollars to $30,000, and that's when I left. So. Was he really a anyway, doctor? Was he a doctor? He's a chiropractor. Okay. Unbelievable. But he's, he's special, he's, uh, At least he didn't give you methotrexate, because that's what they usually do. <laughs> At well, least you didn't I, get... hey, I, ran, I ran the other way. Uh, <laughs> Did they try to? I... Did they try to yeah, give you methotrexate? Let me mention methotrexate. Right. Me. I ran the other way. That's what they try to do. I'm laughing because I'm not crying. It's so terrible. He Jim, says I have stage 2 kidney disease, and you, uh, you're very I'm wondering well. what I can do about that. Uh, well, you got to call me back or send me a letter, and I'll talk on the phone. But call me back. I'd love to talk to you. Okay. got to go, Jim. Yeah, Thanks for your call. All right. I'm from Mrs. Ben. Oh, it's craziness. All right. 844, uh, I'm sorry, call 866-735-2470 uh, for more information about the longevity products. Check out all my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you later, folks. Bye for now.